Tonight we are remembering one of our friends across town whose 34 year career on Channel 7 made him a Buffalo television icon. Tom Joles, or Commander Tom, as many of us knew him, passed away yesterday. Our Dave McKinley has more about his life and his legacy. Tom was a significant part of Buffalo broadcasting uh, on, on any level. Marty Benias is an author, founding member and two-term president of the Buffalo Broadcasters Association, and a collector of keepsakes, and among his trove of treasures. My, my very first piece of memorabilia that I ever collected was this, this postcard of Commander Tom. Before streaming services, tapes and DVDs and cable channels running kids shows 24-7, for children in western New York, Commander Tom was must-see TV after school. The cartoons interspersed with chats with puppets, including Dust Mop, about which his young audience probably didn't know. They were his kids stuffed animals oh, really? that they would take the stuffing out of and he would make his own puppets. But while portraying Commander Tom, Joel's was also the guy with the weather outside on Eyewitness News along with Irv Weinstein and Rick Azar. By happenstance, these three individuals came together and formed this brotherhood on, on TV. And ended up becoming America's longest tenured local anchor team, establishing a dominance not seen since. It was a time in, in Buffalo broadcasting history where we identified with individuals personally. And Tom mirrored your neighbor next door. And by being popular among children and their parents and grandparents at the same time, Joel's established a following that was multi-generational for multi-generations. So you, you passed over from childhood to adulthood with, with the same individual. Biniaz is also the administrator of the Commander Tom Facebook page, which he worked on with Joel's in more recent years. Like a lot of Western New Yorkers, when you finally met him in person, and he was just as genuine and just as warm as the guy that you saw on TV. And that, he says, may have been the ultimate key to his success and longevity. Part of our collective childhood in Western New York passed away yesterday with the passing of Tom Joel's, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm almost getting goosebumps thinking about it. And of Rick and Irv, who along with Tom were three of a kind, the last of whom is gone now at the age of 89. Tom Joel's, who died after a short illness, was a husband and father of six children. Services will be private for a man who was, as one might say, salubrious. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.